Hello everybody, uh, lately I was looking into AI and kind of interested in how cars detect things like trees, people, in uh, real time to identify you know, how to move accordingly. And across this you know, discovery, I found something called edge detection and something called a Sobel operator, which basically uh, is an edge detection technique that allows uh, you know, AI and people to identify structures and images. And then I ended up looking at something called kernel or image processing, convolution matrix, or a mass, sometimes called a filter. And these are common techniques like blurring, sharpening, embossing, the edge detection that I mentioned, uh, by con convoluting an image um, and basically applying an effect to it. So um, a lot of these are examples on the right where they actually have these matrices or these grids or these uh, three by three tables, whatever you want to call it, or two-dimensional three by three arrays or usually an odd number of array that basically applies this operation to every every pixel and their surrounding pixels and then uh, from an input image and then results an output image so you can see the identity does the same image and this is the original image the edge detection they have different Sobel operators that have different edge detection this may be uh, an X and a Y and this may be the uh, the concatenation of those they have the sharpening images box blur and as the blurs get bigger um you know you can kind of see that the um that uh, again the factor also uh uh that they multiply the entire thing uh, also um you know gets bigger as well i mean or, or smaller based on the fraction and you can see in the box blur there there are nine values so it's one by nine and it by a five by five would be one over 25 and so um this is kind of um kind of hard to really see what's going on so there's a beautiful tool and just for reference I also got a lot of what I learned from this computer file video and this finding the edges computer file video and so there's something where there's image kernels explained visually and um, basically to understand this you're going to understand what an image is and to the right here we have this image we have it blowed up and you can clearly see here that an image is a grid a 2d grid of pixels and a lot of these um, you know filters or these uh, matrix or these uh, kernel convolutions are done based on grayscale images so before you do a Sobel operator an edge detection operator you most likely need to turn it to grayscale and grayscales go from 0 to 255 with 0 being black and 255 being white so every single one of these pixels has a grayscale value of 0 to 255 and you can see that corresponding here um, you can see those actual values so that's why I like these visualizations if you go down here uh, like the the convolutions that we saw in these kernels or this this value right here um, you can see correspondingly uh, they have these custom kernels with pre-built settings so you can see a blur like this and instead of you might be asking like ins like what makes this blur particularly like that and the fraction smaller um, but a as you see um, in the kernel image processing um, that 1 over 9 instead of applying it to the filter uh, after the fact in order to make it more uh, kind of understandable they just multiplied it beforehand that's why you see these fractions and so the identity is, is a good one I like to see because um, it basically takes the same input image and the same output image and the way that this works is that for each pixel it applies this operator so you choose a pixel let's start somewhere near the middle I mean uh, programmatically it would be like this but we're gonna we're gonna go over edges and uh, why they pose a problem but you can I would go pixel by pixel let's start at this one here and basically you um, choose that pixel and then on the left side it's going to show you the 3x3 three three grid or one pixel on the app basically a pixel surrounding the pixel that you chose and then in between in the parentheses those values that are different colors are those uh, on the left the red ones transposed and then the value underneath the times 0 0 times 0 1 0 is the actual kernel uh, convolution that's multiplied and the way that you multiply is the top left of the 3x3 three three matrix corresponds with the top left of the uh, of the selected 3x3 three three, uh, grid based around the uh, pixel of interest so the 206 multiplies with the 0, 205 multiplies with 0 and since every other value except the middle is 0 then you add them all up and you end up getting 161 you take that output value and then you write out to a new image so there's no overwriting problems and now that image becomes 161 with the pixel 
and which is what it originally was because it's identity operation and then accordingly um, so you can see how it's moving across in terms of edge detection what people normally do and it has a little blurb on this thing is they either tr retransport the image off the sides or they just ignore it and so in a, in, a, in a time like where a blur is happening instead of multiplying by 1 over 9 if you have 4 pixels you might multiply by 1 over 4 uh, in terms of the weight and then let's just go over a, a, like a bottom and boss so you can see how different values are being added up and then the new one is transposed to 19 and so um, like this is a very useful technique for seeing edges and different structures and the concatenations of these different types of syllables will result in uh, the detection of image gradients. And what image gradients are is they are the directional change or the intensity or color in an image. And again, this is very important because it lets you, it lets you ha know with which way things are facing and if something is turning. Um, so basically it's it's very very simple and what I like about this is that you can start applying your own filters and filters in the 2D sense is the same as kernel convolutions except um, usually filters on cameras or whatnot are a concatenation of these effects and so what I like about this is in your own 3x3 matrix you can experiment just say if I add a more negative values into this range what happens if I add more positive and I talk and you talk it and it actually gives you a little instruction by going to the filter the other the custom to make your own filters on Photoshop so I think understanding this especially if you're in photo editing is good to not only have your own custom edits but if you're into AI and image detection this is basically the fundamentals to that and um, again this isn't really that complicated you take a corresponding a custom kernel that is your filter or your mask per se and then you take in, in every single image and if it's the edge you can either omit or uh, retranspose the image on the outer edge and then you do a multiplication on each grid based on the corresponding value you add them up and then you get the output value and you overwrite it to a new image so again not too hard hopefully this engages your interest in AI uh, you know edge detection feature detection and uh, and, and maybe just photo editing techniques in general. So let me know if you have any other information and if you want to know anything else.